start to explode. It needs something to set it off. It's happy just going along being a restricted system until you get something that triggers a pressure drop in the system. At Mary Bay 14,000 years ago, that trigger was an earthquake. The weight of the lake water had applied enough pressure to stop an explosion. But the earthquake shook the ground beneath the lake and made the water recede from Mary Bay. Less water meant less pressure, just like removing the cork. The trapped groundwater exploded. Thousands of small earthquakes rattle the Yellowstone region each year. Nobody knows exactly when another earthquake will trigger a new hydrothermal explosion at Yellowstone. Or if the only warning will be the earthquake itself, just seconds before the explosion. But it's happened many times before, and it will happen again. The terrible death toll at Lake Neos in 1986 was a grim warning of the dangers from the interaction between volcanic systems and large bodies of water. More recent work at Mount Rainier and Yellowstone exposed further hazards hidden beneath the sinister depths of crater lakes across the world. Mankind has honored and feared the twin elements of fire and water since ancient times. But it is only now that we are starting to truly understand the threat that this combination poses deep below the calm surface of the killer lakes.